I know a lot of people are getting dunk fatigue, but sometimes Nike does a little special project that makes the shoe all worthwhile. Welcome Cooking Hats and Doggies to another episode of Figa Sneaks. Today we'll be going over the Nike Dunk Low Limited Edition Barbershop in a great colorway. If you're new to this channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell to catch all the content we have on the channel. At the end of the video, make sure you leave a comment below if you bang with it. You bang with these? And check me out on all social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook. I'm out here. Well, let's hop into this review because I think this is the cleaner pair of the two. Yitty. Yitty. Now start off with the box. Always start off with the box. Just a regular Nike box right there. And it's a size 11 because there's a significance for that. Good looks VA hype supply for coming through again. Help me get a pair for one of my best friends. But I had to go review it first. That's right, the local homie VA Hype Supply came through. I got these dunks actually for my, a close friend of mine, it's like family to me, my barber. I got him the barber dunks. Once you open up this box, you're greeted by a very clean shoe right there. This is the gray colorway. We will talk about both colors right now. So, Nike decided to come out with this dunk in two colorways. This gray color that you see right here, and the black color. But there are some significant differences between the two dunks. First off, this shoe comes in all gray, and it has a suede upper. So if you look at the top of your shoe, you're greeted with that gray suede that I just talked about. But as you head towards the back of the shoe, you obviously have a little bit more details. For instance, in the midsection, you have this, it's almost like a dotted leather for your swoosh right there in all white. And as you head towards the back, you're greeted by this really weird design now that's more suede on top and if this was an SB I would think that it would be tear away but it's not and it doesn't actually tear away but that's supposed to be a hair design because a lot of young kids and people at the barbershop typically get designs that's why you see that little tan little throwing on top of that gray suede in the back What's you that? know why um, it's supposed to exemplify the hair right yes so it's a hairy suede Yeah, you're right, that makes way more sense. It's a hairy suede because this is supposed to be hair on the back. I don't know how I overlooked that. Mind blown. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Thought to make it logical. That is hairy suede in the back with the hair design. Now, what you also see is this red, white, and blue piping on this dunk, and that's because if you've ever been to a barber shop, okay, bear with me, it's the pole that you usually see when you pull up to a barber shop. Sometimes people have an actual pole outside. Sometimes you see it hanging from the door or right next to the door. But that's just very, very synonymous with barber shops. That's what that white, red, and almost a light baby blue, like a laser blue that's coming out on a dunk that's coming out soon. That's what that red, white, and blue's for. Nike on the back in that same color blue. You get that same color blue for your insole, as well as blue on your tongue right there for Nike. You also get red or blue lace locks, or like we like to call it aglets on top of your white laces. To finish off the shoe, you get a white midsection and the same color crazy blue sole. Now, let's talk about some of the differences. The black pair, which I initially thought I liked more, comes in an all black leather, and once I figured that out, I didn't really like that pair. On top of that, it comes with scissors on the bottom of both of your shoes. So, I initially went out and grabbed these shoes and put them in the sun to see if they turn to scissors maybe in the light or something but they don't they're just an all blue bottom but if you look at the black pair i think without sun they have like half and half of a scissor and then that's supposed to help resemble the barbershop sole. tools on the sole on yeah the sole. i know I, I wish they had that one on this one because the black pair is not as nice but to finish off the biggest touch of this whole entire shoe is your barbershop clippers right there your do braids at the bottom of your laces it says Nike on it, and it's like the little clipper things you throw into your clipper things. What is the purpose of those? Like in general? Like a duvet? Is it to keep the laces from like getting uneven? I actually don't think I ever I felt like, like that did that. It, it, that might be the actual reason why that's there. Typically, I just feel like it's just something to add more detail to a shoe. Because I, I, I know a lot of shoes that have duvets on it, and they don't. people don't even keep them on their shoes. Like a lot of people don't keep like the Air Jordan lock at the top on their sixes sometimes and 
A lot of that stuff that's coming around the lace and stuff, people typically don't even keep on there. But the functionality of it is probably to keep this even, probably. But I do think this was a nice touch for this shoe. Just a clean shoe. That obviously, if you were in the barbershop a lot, which I was growing up, it's like a safe community spot where you talk sports and shop and growing up. This reminds me of that. But let's hop into according to my calculations and see what these bad boys are going for. These shoes were initially supposed to come out on May 1st at a price point of 110 bucks, but I had a bigger release on June 17th at $110. But this one's going for anywhere from $125 to $160 bucks, with a size 13, my typical size, going for $160. Bucks. But they're very, very affordable. And I love, even if it's not a SB, if a special edition or limited edition dunk just gives you some extra oomph to it. And that's what this dunk does. Extra suede, dubre, meaning behind it, hairy suede, better outsole or cleaner outsole, different color outsole. All those little details help. One thing that would mess with my overall grade with this is the fact that it's a dunk, so it just gives you this regular basic nylon tongue. I like a puffier tongue that come on an SB or just a different tongue. I'm not really a big fan of this thin nylon tongue. In the inside material, I don't really know what to call that, but it doesn't feel like it would be very comfortable. It's just kind of there, which is okay for some. Overall, so you know this one is better than the black pair. If I had the black pair, I would definitely be giving that a lower grade. I'm gonna go ahead and give this like a seven. I'm not a barber, so I don't need the shoe, and that's why it's going to my barber, but I do like it, and I think of it. Imagine walking in and your barber got these on. Like, your barber's kind of lit, you know what I mean? Like, and that homie has like, Matt, he might have more shoes than me. But I'm gonna go ahead and give this shoe a seven overall. But y'all go to the comments and let me know if you like the black pair better than this pair. Were you ever in the barbershop a lot growing up? And overall, just in general, how you banging with these dunks right here? And to the next video, I'ma holla at you. Bye bye. bye. And I gotta go get a haircut too. It's too hot to have all this on my face. Bye bye. bye, -bye. But shout out to the homie, haircut bully, NBA hype supply. I'ma put his info down below. Y'all should go check out his stuff. <laughs>